So there is no role for routine fluid bolus just because you see metabolic acidosis, but if there is a possible underperfusion, uh, you consider one bolus of 10 ml per kilo normal saline. Uh, don't give too much of fluid, especially in a premature baby, because you have a higher chance of PDA opening up and excess fluid is always associated with BPD risk and NEC risk as well. So be careful with fluid bolus in the premature babies. In perinatal asphyxia setting as well, we don't know how the renal function is going to respond. More than 10 ml per kilo saline is to be avoided unless you are sure that you need. And uh, POCUS is available, functional echocardiography, most of us are able to do it. So do the echocardiogram before you consider more than one bolus and don't rush to give the bolus many times a baby with the cot pH which is low with metabolic acidosis who is otherwise well, if you give it time, they tend to improve on their own. So just monitor the blood sugar, make sure the temperature is maintained and repeat the gas, most of them just improve. So we give the saline and attribute it to that, but even if you don't give the saline, it will still correct itself. And uh, if you give multiple saline boluses, you have extra chloride load going into the baby as well. So that's one aspect to remember. And uh, if uh, bicarbonate is used, uh, please remember that uh, infant's ventilation is adequate. As I mentioned, the paradoxical uh, CO2 release, intracellular and CNS acidosis effect is there. And uh, the hyperosmolar solution should be diluted, one is to two or one is to four and infused slowly. Uh, normally we have 8.4% solution, so one millimole in one ml, diluted to 4.2%, which is what we use in newborns as a standard as a minimum. You can double dilute to one is to four as well. And in this case, once it is 4.2%, we have one millimole in two ml solution. The dose during resuscitation, you're not going to wait for the blood gas. So you give one to two ml per kilo of 4.2% uh, uh, solution. So 0.5 to one millimole per kilogram and you give it over 30 minutes. Uh, if there is a blood gas available and you have the base de deficit uh, calculated, so you can use 0.3, which is the volume of distribution, times weight in kilogram, and uh, multiply that by the base deficit. You divide it by two for the half correction. As we discussed, we prefer to give a half correction, but if the severe acidosis is extreme, you can give a full correction and we often face babies who have pH of 6.97, who are very sick, who are not responding to inotropes, you've given them steroids, uh, you've given them bicarbonate, nothing seems to work. So these are the babies where they have extreme situations, extreme shock, extreme sepsis, where there is uncoupling of the oxidative phosphorylation and worsening metabolic acidosis. So most of the time, your management is not going to be successful, whatever you do for these babies. Unfortunate that they reach that situation. So whatever you give, it's not going to help, but try your best in managing the situation.